2018 FIFA World Cup, ladies and gentlemen, will be organized in Russia. When FIFA announced Russia would be the host of the 2018 Football World Cup, the decision was met with celebration at home, but suspicion from those convinced the sports governing body was not playing fair. Both FIFA and Russia deny wrongdoing over the selection process, but several investigations are continuing to examine bribery claims. Concerns over football hooligans, race and gender discrimination were raised and countered by Russian officials who promised a safe and hospitable experience for visiting fans. Then there was the question of whether the Russian economy could afford the multi-billion dollar outlay on building stadia and transport links. Not a problem, we were told. Certain roads, certain transport infrastructure would have been built anyway. The stadium would have been built there anyway, maybe two years later, maybe five years later, but, but there is a natural need for that. Regions have certain development, they, they develop naturally. The World Cup is just uh, accelerating this development. Along with the sporting memories, the experience of previous tournaments in Brazil and South Africa included a substantial financial outlay for the host nations, with many questioning whether the legacy of infrastructure and exposure to tourism justifies the cost. Meanwhile, FIFA, which made a $2.5 billion profit in Brazil, has been slow to attract sponsors for Russia. It seems that the biggest concern that sponsors have is a reputational damage. Do you want your brand, your company, uh, stamped um, as uh, essentially endorsing uh, an organisation like FIFA, which has had issues around corruption, and a country like Russia, which is seen, at least in the West, as an aggressor in the, in the uh, recent conflict with U Ukraine over Crimea. And there's a feeling that the, you don't want to be part of endorsing either of those two um, entities. FIFA Secretary General Fatma Samura told the Russian news agency TASS there's a need to rebuild trust among sponsors following a turbulent two years. But FIFA can point to recent deals with Qatar Airways and the Chinese electronics giant Hisense and say they're continuing talks with other potential partners. The final whistle will blow on the World Cup final on July the 15th next year, but the financial referees will likely require extra time to consider whether that's money well 